original. Time it's time now in R&I is precisely one o'clock. Good morning, this is Robin Banks with R&I News Britain. The explosion in Flixborough, the number of dead is now believed to be 25, and there are at least 15 people still missing. There are many injured, some of them very seriously. The explosion occurred at 5 o'clock this evening at the chemical factory. The gigantic blast was heard 30 miles away at Grimsby. Fire is still raging over the factory location, and a company spokesman has put the damages at £25 million. Hundreds of firemen and emergency workers are battling to control the fires. The village of Flixborough has had to be evacuated along with another small village nearby because of the danger of further explosions and the thick black choking fumes which are hovering over the vicinity. The Middle East, reports from Damascus say Lebanon is ready to release captured Israeli pilots in exchange for Lebanese jailed by Israel. Israel is believed to be holding 13 Lebanese while Lebanon is thought to be holding four Israeli pilots. And in Britain again, the Home Secretary has said that the Price sisters will not be moved to an Ulster jail despite their hunger strike. In a statement tonight, the provisional IRA said that uh, the, the just rip, rip, de, I beg your pardon, retribution against Mr Wilson and his government would follow if either of the sisters died. And again, Britain, the National Union of Teachers decided tonight against calling a strike until the pay board report is released concerning London allowances. And the common market, France and Germany have agreed to renounce trade barriers and call on European common market countries to work towards economic stability. And finally in the news, China. Mr. Heath's visit to China has been strongly criticised by the Soviet Union and an article in the communist newspaper, Pravada, Chinese leaders used the visit for anti-Soviet propaganda. Mr. Heath has now arrived in Canton where he will stay overnight before returning home tomorrow. Tonight will be mainly dry with the possibility of fog in many areas. The low temperature is expected to be around 8 degrees centigrade and the early morning will commence dry and a bright sunny day is expected. Moderate to strong west-southwesterly winds with a high temperature of 18 degrees centigrade are forecast for later in the day. And that's our and our news and weather to one o'clock and the next summary in one hour's time. <laughs> service of Radio North Sea. RNI broadcasts in the medium wave band at 220 meters, 1367 kilohertz, in the 49 meter short wave band at 6205 kilohertz, and on VHF channel 44 at 100 megahertz. Radio North Sea International, the voice of Europe, the sound of the world. Shoot.